Those who doubt Mayor Sly James' ability to run a public school system can look at other cities as examples. Now, both the Cleveland and Boston school districts have thrived under mayoral control. Beth Vaughn is live to explain. Yeah, Krista, eyebrows raised yesterday when Mayor Sly James offered to run Kansas City Public Schools. But the model used in Boston has led to a 20 year sense of stability. That's according to the spokesperson of Boston Public Schools, who claims more students have stayed in school in the last 20 years while a mayoral committee ran the district instead of an elected school board. He reports the mayoral governance structure has taken politics out of the business of education, allowing committee members to focus on student achievement. Plus, for the first time in the school district's history, it's been able to consistently balance the budget without going into the red. The district believes these are all signs of progress. Certainly, we've seen a dramatic decline in our uh in our dropout rate in the last 20 years. Uh, that has gone down. Our graduation rate continues to go up every single year. Uh, like I said, we're not claiming success yet. We ha um, there's still a lot of work to be done, but we're certainly headed in the right direction. Mike Wilder says Boston's history of strong, long-term superintendents has helped the district. That's certainly something Kansas City hasn't seen in quite some time. We're live downtown. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News. The Missouri Education Commissioner says some things need to happen before she can decide what is next for the Kansas City School District. The State of Sport of Education will ask lawmakers to change laws to allow the state to remove the elected school board and replace it with an appointed board. The board also wants some kind of invitation from the community before it takes action. Commissioner Chris Nicastro received more than 500 letters with different plans for the district. You can read more about the commissioner's plans at NBCActionNews.com under education. As the state gets closer to a decision on the future for the district, we're here to help explain what's next. Join us December 15th in every newscast that day. We're dedicating time to examine the issues facing Kansas City Public Schools and surrounding districts.